Welcome back everyone, I'm Tolly Lit Toy and today is International Gin and Tonic Day. Now, everyone loves a cocktail, but what about a cocktail for a cause? Now, I had to go out, introduce you guys to a gin that gives back to the environment and joining me now is the founder of Grey Whale Gin. Marsh, thanks so much for joining us today. Oh, it's a pleasure, thanks for having me. Awesome, so you're just a big well-known name here in California, but can you just tell the viewers what is so special and how does your gin give back to the environment? Well, great, great question. Well, first of all, can you see the, the west coast of America right in that logo? I do see uh, that. That's actually the migratory path of this beautiful creature, the gray whales. So the, these gray whales have their babies in a place called Laguna de San Ignacio down in Baja, and they literally hug our gorgeous coastline going all the way to the Arctic. So we made a gin to celebrate it by so by the way, gin, gin is just vodka with flavor. And that one flavor is this gorgeous stuff. These are juniper berries. Uh, you see the big berries, those are from California. The, uh, the smaller little black berries, those are Italian Macedonian. So if you think you don't like gin, chances are you don't like the, the piney component of the traditional London dries. Ours is, is a West Coast gin, so it truly is a Californian gin. Uh, and we proudly give back to ocean conservation through our support of Oceana and 1% for the planet. Oh, I love that. Um, but today we're going to be making a whale and tonic? Yeah, yeah, the classic whale and tonic, or, or the classic GMT, if you like. And um, do you want to follow along while I yeah. go Yeah, I need you to lead the way so I can definitely follow. Perfect. So first of all, we're gonna we're gonna use a goblet on my side. So fill it with ice. That's the very first thing we're gonna do. Okay. And then we're gonna pour out two full ounces of gray whale gin. Okay. And again, this is this is truly sipping quality gin. Um, most most people that I speak to that say, oh, I don't like gin, are the ones that. Um, genuinely don't like that Christmas tree backbone, that flavor. So ours uh, has things like kombu, sea kelp, um, almonds. There are, there are flavors in there that are unusual to gin, but it really, really works. But the, one of the most important things to any gin and tonic is a great tonic. Three quarters of your drink is tonic water, so mm -hmm. don't buy a, you know, a $30, $40 bottle of gin and then put some cheap tonic in there. So let's go with some really good quality stuff. Okay. We love And. The king and queen of a gin and tonic is uh, the garnish. So for us, we, we recommend um, some wine. Okay. So, and by the way, this is a lime cheek. You know, cut a little bit off center, so you get none of that center part. A lot okay. of uh, juice comes out of that. Uh, we love a little bit of rosemary. We're gonna activate the rosemary by uh, giving a couple slaps like that. Okay. You can, nice. really, you can really go to town where we're gonna put some mint in ours. These garnishes will really uh, enhance the flavor wow. profile. Wow, never seen that before. I recommend, I recommend you get, you know, get a little creative. Um, you know, the holidays are coming, put cranberries in there, put whatever you feel like. I'm actually gonna put some juniper berries in mine. Wow. So, uh, I'm learning so much today, Marsh, wow. Really so just making is, me a mix, mixologist. My, my gorgeous gin and tonic, or, or the whale and tonic as we like to call it. Yeah. That's what it looks like. I love it. Okay, so yours and mine, a little bit similar, but definitely made with the same important ingredient, gray whale gin. So cheers, big dog. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, that's good, that's good. Now, before I let you go, Marsh, before I let you go, can we just talk about um, these beautiful bottles and then also these candles that come in your packaging that I'm just obsessed with? Well, yeah, thank you for noticing that. Yeah, so those are, there's a fun, funny story. We, uh, we were getting the bottles back when we first started Grey Whale. See, my wife and I sold our house to start Grey Whale Gin, and uh, you, you can tell we're back in a house, thank God. But uh, our friends were giving us the bottles back, and they said, can we use them for something else? And the FDA won't allow us to fill them back with gin. So uh, an ingenious friend of ours uh, cut the top off them, turn them into candles. We sell them on our website. They make a wonderful gift and 100% of proceeds from the candle sales goes to ocean conservation. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a gin you can feel good about. <laughs> I love that, Marsh, but once again, thank you so much. You're such a professional. We've had you on so many times. And once again, guys, this is International Gin and Tonic Day, and you can make a cocktail for a cause. But once again, thanks, Marsh, for joining us, and we'll be right back. Pleasure. Guys.